Well, my friends, today we're here to talk data with my buddy Tim and to keep your attention because data isn't any crazy chips flying. How about a million points per second? <laughs> okay, that's how we're starting this off. A million points per second. Tim, expand right. on that, please. All right. So this is a new machine from OGP that does 3D scanning. And I love this machine, Tony, because it's shop floor, it's push button. You don't need fixturing, you don't need spray, you don't need targets, you don't need alignments. You put the part on, you hit the button, it's like a photocopy machine, and you get a 3D STL file out of it right away. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, I love this machine for that reason. I can imagine yeah. why. Yeah. And, and when I think about what you just described, I instantly think of things that I can't really buy in bulk anymore, and, right. and, and I can just, make a, a, a print of this, make a copy right. of this, and, and then I can make it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of a car nerd, Tim. I yeah. apologize. Yeah. Going to these car shows, sure. these parts, they're not being made anymore, and I can go and I can scan it and R I can make you it. You can, exactly. Oh, That's what it does. Amazing. That's what it does. Reverse engineering is a big part of this. Yep, so you can make your step file from the STL file it generates and make that file. We actually had a customer and had an old MG from pre-World War II, and they couldn't get the parts. They're using a machine like this to make the parts again. They have reverse engineering. It's exactly what they do. Well, our minds yeah. instantly went to the creative yeah. world, which yeah. is important. We like to get creative, but let's take this immediately into the machine shop. Uh -huh. We've already said a million points per second. Yeah. I mean, it's so fast. Yeah. The capabilities, reverse engineering is a big part of it. Right. If I'm in a machine shop, where am I utilizing this the most? So this is on the shop floor, and it shows you a heat map of your part. It gives you a general idea. It's not the most accurate thing we make. It's not the most specific finite dimensional. It's not gonna measure that tiny little radius and give you the radius call, but you get a quick picture that anybody can understand. You don't have to be a metrologist or a quality engineer. You can be the guy running the plastic injection molding machine. All of a sudden, you're gonna see an area that goes red. You know, when they have enough tool wear, I gotta make a change. I gotta do whatever I need to do to change the process. So this is a, a shop floor kind of reality check to what's going on. It's quick, gives you a lot of data. Everybody understands the picture. Then you go to your more finite, precise machines like a CMM or a vision system when you really need to know the dimensions. You yep. are reading my mind and I love yep. that because yep. you just mentioned CMM and yep. originally I was thinking and maybe it still is this way so you'll correct me in all the areas I'm wrong. Originally I was thinking this is in the CMM room measuring but it almost seems like if I have a cell of say 10 machines mm -hmm. and I'm going to put this in the center of that cell to check my wear on my right. cutting tools. So this is really user friendly to make it sure we're reaching optimum performance on all of our machines yeah. in real time. That's right. Yeah. I think of it like a shop floor CT machine. CT is all the rage now. I'm sure you've heard that. And CT is wonderful. It's very accurate. It gets internal dimensions. This is not the most accurate and it doesn't get internal dimensions, but it still does 90% of what you need to do right there on the floor. Accurate enough. If you need to go to something higher level, go. But again, no training. Hit the button. I don't know if we want to look at the machine at all, but I can show it's you a little it, bit. Yeah. It has a triangulation laser and a very precise rotary table calibrated in the six micron environment. Six microns accuracy. It'll measure all your external features and give you those millions and millions of data points. Yep. Tim, uh, yeah. it, it's, it's, I'm excited it's about really this machine. Interesting. It's, I, I think it's revolutionary, honestly, because it does require a lot of training, a lot of knowledge about measurement. It's meant to go on the floor and that quick thing that most of manufacturers want now. They want their people trained on the machine tools and making good parts and don't want to spend a lot of time on the checks. But now they can get a very good check with a lot of data with really a, not, not any training at all. Yeah, that's the uh, idea. Uh, Tim, when I first yeah. met you, you I asked yeah. you, what makes you stand out? And you said, because yeah. we're always doing something new. That's we're right. always being revolutionary, yeah. as you just said about this machine. Yeah. What I love about this conversation yeah. is it's not just you believing in your product and believing in what's going on, it's showing yeah. that this is revolutionary. Oh, sure. And that to me is what the audience wants to see. That's right. Because we can talk all day long, but to show oh. the differences and to get this amount yes. of detail in such a quick amount of time, right. ah, this is an answer for so many problems out there. Right. Yep, we're trying to give confidence to our customers. Yep, and that's what this does. Tim says it yep. best, confidence to the customers, yep. a million, a million <laughs> per second. Think of that. All right, my friends, reach out to my friends at OGP if you want to learn more about this. Reach out to my buddy, Tim. We're all believers in the product, and I love learning about something that educates and helps you guys out there as well.